challenge and solution based on the person who could obtain the general solution in our way. And as I have said, that's the, probably the very rare cases where you can get a set general solution. So, we have this one. So, this is last time, so this is 6.4.1. And then we set up our three points. So, this is 0, this is L, this again is delta T, and then this is again delta X. So, we set up a degree, as usual, we would use a uniform grid just for the sake of simplicity. So once you have set up the grid points, then all you have to do is now you try to use finite difference approximation to approximate the second derivative in time to approximate the second derivative in space. Okay? Now, so what would you suggest? So again, by now you would be very familiar, so let us just write it down. So, Okay, now, 